as with any heavy industrial unit, things may go wrong from time to time. In this next section, we have provided a troubleshooting overview to see if the problem can be resolved there and then. Our first section is jetting. Number one, check the pump and filters have been bled of air. This will prevent cavitation and the jetting hose pulsing and knocking. Number two, check the jetting filters are clean. Number three, check you have a good supply of water. Number four, if the unit is a recycler, check the water is clean enough to go through the system. If it is black and thick, bottom empty the front tank and put fresh water on. This should be done every day with a recycler. Number five, fine filter clean for 10 minutes to clean the water going to the pump. This is only on a recycler. Number six, check that all three plungers are down. If you've completed all of the prior steps and are still having problems, please ring your local customer service center for support. Our second section is the vacuum cooled rotary vane pump. Number one, check the main filter is clean daily. It should be light in weight. If it is heavy, it is saturated in oil and we will need changing and the secondary filter is checked weekly. Number two, ensure you have topped up the pump with SAE30 oil only. Number three, check the catch tanks are drained and empty. Number four, clean the float ball and vacuum cyclones with the small jetting hose on tick over daily. Number five, if you have no vacuum, run the vac pump and open the float ball valve behind the driver's cab. It should be sucking air. If it is not, the float ball in the front tank is stuck up. Switch between vacuum and pressure until it drops. If it does not, you will need to call us. Number six, ensure the air breather on the snorkel is not submerged when vacuuming. Our third section is recycling and the associated equipment. Number one, ensure you have a full clean front tank of water daily. Number two, ensure you clean all rag from the course filter on the back door every time you tip, especially in between the course filter motor. Number three, ensure the Desmi recycling pump cover closes over the pump when the back door opens. This prevents any debris falling into the pump and blocking the Desmi pump. Number four, ensure you clean the fine filter in the front tank and the coarse filter located on the back door little and often when recycling. If the Desmi pump drops below two bar, you will need to clean them. Number five, bottom empty or piston clean the front tank daily to remove all thick sludge, which can make the jetting pump cavitate. Number six, suck back the cyclones every day by pressing cyclone cleaning and vac pump for one minute. This will prevent them from blocking. And in this fourth section is the piston and the piston movement. Number one, if the back door is not opening, ensure you are pulling the safety handle and cover up at the same time. Please remember, there is an eight to 10 second delay before the door fully opens. Number two, ensuring the piston tire pressure is on minimum of one bar before moving and is at four bar on maximum when inflated. We really hope you found this video helpful and informative 
and have resolved any issues which you may have had. Book a municipal, driven by better.